VMware tools allow a much smoother experience in your VMware workstation player. And we can install the VMware tools if you haven't done it before or reinstall them if you've done a recent update to your VMware workstation. So you go into Player and you go to Manage and you choose Reinstall VMware Tools if you've already done it, or just choose Install VMware Tools. Now, after the installation is done, it will go ahead and ask you to restart your computer because some new drivers may have been added. Now, if you didn't see the installation happen right away or automatically, you should see a screen pop up, then it could mean that you just need to do it manually. So you just click on this PC and you'll see the VMware tools has automatically mounted itself. So you can either double click on it or just choose open and then run the setup 64 if you're running 64-bit operating system and it will automatically install the VMware tools. And you can see it's preparing to do that. And it's gonna run through a little wizard that takes about 30 seconds or so, and then you may be prompted to restart your computer. I've already installed mine, so I'll just click on Modify, click Next, Change, and it's just going to reinstall. If you haven't installed it before, then it will go ahead and run through the first time installation. And I'll click Finish. And like I said earlier, you may be prompted to restart your computer when it's done. Now, you may have to reinstall the tools if you've done a VMware Workstation update. So if you've done an update, it may not necessarily update your VMware tools to go along with it. So that's why you may need to reinstall. So that is how you install or reinstall VMware tools in VMware Workstation Player.